Big Bang Science Fair is a big exhibition. There are lots of things that the kids can do, lots of shows that the kids can go and see. There are lots of stalls that the children can do, um, little hands-on tasks. People from the industry there and the university showing off their work. It's full of people and full of different things you can do when you walk around. There's loads to look at and it's like too much to look at in a day. The benefit for the pupils is seeing more science. You know, we're a small rural school, so they don't necessarily see what science is. So to go to something like the Big Bang Show, you're exposed to so much more science than we get in school. Uh, it was interesting. Um, there was loads of different things on offer for us all to do, and you all had a go at different things. And it, it explained more about what science was and like, got us interested in it. The first impact was just seeing lots of other pupils and lots of other schools, because they don't see that. You know, they know the schools that are nearby and this huge sort of mix of pupils that were there. The Science Club at Beacon Hill started last year. We aim it at Key Stage 3 pupils. It's making slime, it's making rockets that explode, it's doing things that we don't necessarily do in lesson time, but that the pupils enjoy, they want to do, that they can go home and talk about. You come and you do experiments and you learn about different things in science and it, you do it with other age groups so you're mixing with other people, not just your age. In the science club they're generally more hyped up because it's, they don't see it as a lesson. They see these lessons often as being quite boring, they have to learn things, they find learning quite hard some of them. It's fun to do and it's fun to, you can go with your friends and it's something all to do together. Uh, the two experiments we did today, the first one was making slime using PVA glue and a chemical called borax. You get some PVA glue and you put it in a little container, you add a little bit of food dye for your colouring and then you start adding like drops of water and borax till it gets to the right consistency and then you start like playing with it and the more you play with it the, the stickier and the bouncier it gets. Well we made goo and like I made blue goo and you could bounce it and it went like really high and you could stretch it and everything. The second experiment was me setting fire to myself. It does nothing apart from just excite the kids and get them talking about science and um, get them interested. And she put like bubbles on her hand with like bubbles and um, water things and then she like, got somebody to get a Bunsen burner and put fire on it. Some of the challenges of running a science club are trying to keep that motivation there, trying to keep their interest up, trying to think of different practicals that they can do, trying to develop um, not only the interest but sort of the, the skills that they have. I like science more now because it's more fun and it's like more blowing things up and making goo instead of writing this and writing that. Um, science is just a fun way of learning science, it just makes it more fun than just doing it in lessons. What I'd say to somebody, if, you know, if they haven't come to Science Club before, I'd say give it a try. You know, see what happens, see what it's like. You don't have to come back again. But, you know, the whole point of Science Club is to do exciting things, interesting things, things that go whiz and bang and make a mess.